Hello there, everybody. Welcome on into today's video. Greatly appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to swing on over and check it out because we have Dreamcatcher album time. That's right. Uh, we have Nightmare on the docket today. Uh, and guess what? We're going to listen to the whole thing because we're not going to half ass this deep dive. If it has an intro, we're going to listen to it. If it has an instrumental song, we're going to listen to it. I'm going to put timestamps down below. So if you want to skip around, feel free. We're going to do it in order of the album. And here we are. So this one has four songs, has the intro, two songs, and an instrumental. We're going to listen to the whole thing. Let's go. I'm ready. Welcome to Dream. That is the intro to this. Can't wait. 40 seconds. Let's do it. Ooh. This is so cool. Yes! Ooh. Green. What's that? That guitar shred. Yes. And then it goes into the next song. Okay. I did put find the coded lyrics one so we can like look at the lyrics as we're listening to songs. So hopefully I found the right one. This is the debut song. Chase me, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I'm gonna... oh, jump into your dreams? So interesting, actually, like being able to read the, uh, read the lyrics. I like it. I did another dream. What? Bite of a red apple. No way. The dummy, yes, let's go. This song is kind of dark. They're like haunting, they were haunting this guy in the music video, and it definitely shows in the lyric. The lyrics of the song are so good. debut song. This was a good debut song. How they're not more popular, I will never know. Everybody needs to stand them. Literally. Just hiding in dreams. Motion. Okay. Alrighty, different. Like the piano. That's cool. Tell me that. 
Um, a slow vibe breakup song. These B sides are gonna wreck me, aren't they? As we go on, damn. Right, instrumental chase me i am a huge instrumental fan so i'm excited that they have these on their albums i usually listen to instrumental in like editing or gaming Ooh. Drum. This must be awesome as a live band. Did they use live bands a lot in their concerts? I would hope so. A lot of these songs would be awesome. In the piano. So good. Man, I'm gonna have to add this one on my playlist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this would be so good live.
That little guitar. That was nice. change up on the guitar. What? Man! Instrumental was awesome! They, like, if you've ever seen them in concert, let me know. Do they have a live band? Because if they don't, like, damn, they're missing out. Because a live band would be sick on some of these songs. It, it was good. Do they, they, from what I, when I'm making my playlist, I've already made a few with, like, albums. And it seems like they have an instrumental on all of their albums. And I love that. Just having an instrumental sometimes are so nice. And sometimes I just want to listen to uh, just a, like a nice rock song without words. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. This album was good. A little mini album. I'm excited to see some of their their full albums because you guys keep telling me that their B-sides are going to probably wreck me. And here we are. We're starting it. But thank you guys. Hope you guys liked the video uh, and thank you for uh, joining me here today. And if you do, uh, feel free to drop that subscribe. I got a ton more content coming up the rest of this month and forward. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great time. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. You guys have a great one. Bye.